Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest and the most effective ways for fixing FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 5. And guys, these things that I'm gonna show you guys in this video, I recommend you guys to do them every time Fortnite has an update or every time you're experiencing FPS drops. So just stick around and see it for yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is uninstalling Fortnite files. And guys, it's not gonna do anything to your Fortnite account, trust me. It's only gonna delete its files. So then we can get new fresh files. It's only gonna reset your graphic settings. So the first tab in settings. But you don't have to worry about it guys. I'm gonna show you guys the best settings for that tab. So you wanna press Windows R on your keyboard, Windows R, and in here you gotta type percent local app data percent and then OK. And in here you guys wanna find Fortnite game. So Fortnite game right here, Fortnite game. Just right click on it and then delete. Bum. And then you wanna launch Fortnite guys. So when launching Fortnite guys you're gonna get this message right here. It says find best settings. You guys wanna decline this guys. This is gonna reset your whole Fortnite settings guys. Like your sensitivity, like everything guys. Just decline this. Okay guys, so we are now in Fortnite. As you guys can see, and everything looks terrible. So we're gonna fix that. And we're gonna fix FPS drops. So you wanna go to settings, settings. Okay, so we're gonna start with window mode. For window mode, I always recommend guys, use full screen guys it gives you the lowest delay for resolution guys you can use or 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900 there is not a like crazy difference between these two you can use this if you have a really low mpc guys or you can use of course stretch res and my last video is about the easiest way for getting stretch res as well guys so if you want to try a stretch resolution guys go watch that video and uh, vsync off frame rate limit you guys you want to put your fps one above your monitors refresh rate for example i have a 165 hertz monitor i'm gonna put it on 180 fps i don't know why this happens but this way it works better and you can get more fps in end games as well and the rendering mode guys use performance mode always guys please use performance mode but if you can't play on performance mode guys for some reason maybe your pc can't handle it then you can try these settings on the screen and these are just self reference guys colorblind mode colorblind strength but i recommend off because this season it looks better if you have your colorblind mode on off so for 3d resolution guys i recommend going for 94 there is literally a slight difference between 94 and 100 and 94 gives you better fps i always put my 3d resolution on 94 as well just put yours as well guys trust me there is not that much difference and put this all on low and show FPS on, report performance stats, disable. And then you wanna go to sound, and in here you wanna scroll down, sound quality. And you wanna put it on low guys. So if it's on high, just put it on low. And then go to game, and in here scroll all the way down till you find these two settings guys right here. Replace and energy saving. So for replace, turn this for off. Because trust me guys, it's gonna cost you a little bit of performance. And maybe if you wanna like actually have it on, maybe you're trying to go pro and you wanna like review your games, then only turn on the first one. So this record the episode. Only turn this on, but I still recommend to turn it off. And for energy saving, turn these two off guys. Turn them both off. These two are trash guys, trust me, just turn this off. And then you're done with the Fortnite settings. So now you wanna go to your Epic Games Launcher. Again, so you wanna apply this keep changes and if you get a restart now message it says because you switch to performance mode do you want to restart your game just click decline or no for now guys because we're gonna restart it later right now you want to launch your epic games so just exit out of this so in epic games guys you want to go to library and as i said guys exit out of fortnite because this doesn't gonna work if you're running fortnite in the background so just go to your library scroll down Click on these three dots for Fortnite and then go to options 
and these settings are really important guys so you guys want to uncheck fortnite save the world if you don't use it and then you want to uncheck high resolution textures trust me guys uncheck this you're gonna get so much better fps and lower input delay so just uncheck this and then if you don't use DirectX 12 then you can uncheck this as well but if you do use DirectX 12 then check this pre-download streamed assets you want to check this and then for language i recommend to just uncheck every one of these guys just put your language on english guys maybe check one of these just don't check every one of these so and after that apply and then you want to click on these three dots again for fortnite you want to go to manage and then you want to verify your files so click on verify and it's now verifying fortnite's files as you guys can see and this is also really important guys just wait for like two minutes and then just launch fortnite and enjoy your fps and yeah that's it for this video guys i hope it helps you guys as always I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah see you guys in the next video